how to build your very own go high level snapshot and package it properly so people would buy and generate an income stream from it without lifting a finger hey guys it's Vico Kang here your very own go high level ninja in today's video i'm going to walk you through the sell process the fulfillment process and the step-by-step -step process on how to create and make a kick-ass go high level snapshot so make sure you stick until the end of this video to see how we implement this process into our snapshot so guys let's quickly jump onto the computer screen here so we're right here onto our snapshot sales page so i make sure to link this into the description as well so make sure that you check that out okay so the first thing i want to tell you when it comes to selling your snapshot is that it's very crucial to have a walkthrough or a demo video to showcase what it's actually look like, what's inside a snapshot and the goal it tried to achieve, okay? So we have our um, free snapshot here, which is our SaaS snapshot. Um, we're offering it for free, there's no charge. Even that have a walkthrough video um, onto how it run everything, okay? And we have our um, full premium snapshot, which is our prospecting onboarding snapshot. So again, this is the sales page. You wanna have the video with a button and people can just click and buy it straight away, keeping it very simple and straight to the point. So the one thing that I highly recommend when it comes to explaining your snapshot to a stranger is by having a mind map, such as um, this one that we have in the thumbnail right here. We created it by using an app called Miro, M-I-R-O, so make sure that you actually check that out. We just you know, use a couple of square box and arrow and just to show people a really um, bird's eye view onto what the snapshot look like in a form of a diagram and then there's a video of me um, you know walking through people the entire process when it comes to workflow and funnel okay and we have five snapshot and we have five video um, and then we have the pricing which is a checkout here it's really easy to build and um, we have a couple of testimonial which is very important if you have any to put testimonial out there to make sure that you reduce any sell resistance when it comes to making the purchase decision right and the one most important thing is the faq right frequently asked question when it comes to snapshot as a do-it-yourself service you want to really go through in detail what are the frequently asked question when it comes to your snapshot again just to recap there's going to be a walkthrough video a checkout form and an faq page at the end okay so that is it when it comes to the sales process one more thing that i should mention is that you should know the price when it comes to the snapshot i would recommend anywhere between 97 to 497 or even a thousand dollar at 997 when it comes to selling your snapshot that's depend on what actually inside the snapshot the value that you provide and and the marketplace that you're offering it to. Um, we ourselves sell our snapshot at 497. We find that's the um, the sweet spot when it comes to um, real estate snapshot, prospecting snapshot, recruiting snapshot, and all that stuff. So actually check out that page to actually get a sense on how we structure our sales page. All right, guys, let's move on to the fulfillment part of the snapshot. So this is when people go to the sales page, they give you their money by purchasing the snapshot from you. So how are you going to deliver that to them in the most efficient way and effective way so just a quick disclaimer here the way i'm showing you right now is based on our agency point of view um, there's many ways that you can deliver your snapshot um, one of the way is to select a permanent link and just email it straight to your customer and you can create a workflow for this it's very easy but we don't actually do that just because that we don't want a permanent link so people could just copy and paste and give it to their friend and we don't want that to happen and i'm pretty sure you don't want that too we only have that permanent link for our free um, snapshot it's free so they can share it however they want so our structure here is that we create a separate funnel for our fulfillment page but we call this you know our fulfillment page and we have a video walkthrough um on to how to structure everything we have a quick form here so people have to put in their name email what plan they in this is for our affiliate because they are getting the snapshot for free so we'll ask them a bit more question but if they buy the snapshot there's less question that they have to answer and we just ask them what kind of snapshot do they want okay i think it's under this question and this is the question where we ask them what snapshot do they actually really want okay and when they come in here there's a drop down page and they can select 
any of the snapshot. So this is really useful if you sell more than one snapshot, you can just give them a multi-choice answer like this. And then once they click submit, they go into an email sequence and our team at the back end will give them the snapshot manually with a one-time link. So one of the thing when it comes to getting your client the best result when it comes to buying a snapshot is having a proper setup SOP. Now, as you can see here, we have a SOP for each of the snapshot. Let's just show you one of them, which is the real estate snapshot. We have a full on Google Docs SOP with step one, step two. We have a checklist on how to set up Go High Level from scratch and a checklist on how to set up the snapshot from scratch. So we find that the more detailed our SOP is, the less question we have when it comes to people asking on how to set up the snapshot. So it's very, very effective when it comes to fulfill your snapshot. Again, you want this to be an passive income stream and the snapshot, once you make it, it's going to be there forever and the docs and the SOP going to be there forever. All you have to do is just copy and paste and give it to them and they never need to talk to you again. And one of the other feature that I noticed aside from the SOP is a support group. So the support group is for paid member only. You can have a small group such as a Discord group, a WhatsApp group or a Facebook Messenger group. So just adding people there with an invitation link after they buy and just keep one VA or one assistant there to actually answering all the questions, which is going to make the customer experience and the success rate a lot more better. Again, guys, you need to balance between making it passive with minimal effort and actually getting your client the best result. You want to actually balance that out. If you do too little, your client not gonna get too much result, but if you do too much, then you defeat the whole purpose of having that passive income from your snapshot. All right, guys, let's talk about building your actual snapshot from scratch. So before we get started, I want to run through some theory into what the actual process look like. So when you first start building any snapshot, the first question you should ask is what the goal of the snapshot? Who does it help and how does it help? Okay, so um, really just try to imagine who are you selling it to and what is the outcome the snapshot try to achieve. So you have to remember that people at the end of the day, they don't buy the snapshot because of the workflow, the API automation, all that stuff. They just try to make money, get more clients for their business. Actually make sure that your snapshot help them achieve that. The second part is where to focus into your snapshot. Again, high level have massive amount of feature. We personally, we only focus our snapshot into this three area. The workflow, custom value, funnel and website, form and survey builder. And when it comes to building and selling your snapshot, I would recommend that you stack as much as value as possible. And that means offering things outside high level. So again, just keep in mind what your customer desire outcome is and try to add those bonus such as Google template, Canva template or Zapier template aligned with those outcome. So again, guys, we are going to be focused on three main core area, which is the workflow and the custom value. So you wanna come in here, create a workflow, and like typically you don't need to really create anything guy. If you're selling a snapshot, chance are the snapshot are not new. You're probably using it for your client already or using it for your own agency already. So snapshot when you sell it is really nothing new and it's not a new workflow like this, okay? But I just wanna show you for the sake of this tutorial video, okay? So let's say we'll create an email workflow here and you wanna put all the stuff such as a custom value, okay? So you wanna put like, you know, just make it easy for the other people. You want to put account name in here and then this one you want to put account email. Okay. So this is actually a custom field, not a custom value. A custom value is this. I mean like this is a completely new account, but then you would have to create a custom value and then you would put that value into the email. Let's just do that real quick. So you want to navigate to setting here and custom value and you want to create a new value and this new value called content one and um, the value inside it is www.google.com, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that looked like if you're completely new here to go high level. So we have a new value here. The name is content one and the value is google.com, okay? So we're going to go to our workflow under automation, this new workflow that we just created, okay? After you create it, you're gonna go to email test template. So as you can see, everything here is custom field and custom value. You can see from name here is location name, from email is user email, and even the subject launch is contact first name. And you can see here email slash value content one. Okay, so if the people open this email on the other side, they would see email www.google.com. Hopefully that makes sense guys. So this is the workflow that you can put 
into your snapshot okay obviously you can't sell it like this this is doesn't have any value into it and then you want to come to website again you want to create a funnel or website template that convert really well so your client get a return on investment from the snapshot and the next part to it is the form and survey builder and when you actually build your form and survey make sure that it have an extra code um, or extra CSS to make sure that it's function really well, it have color, it have animation when it comes to clicking on the form and the survey. Hey guys, real quick here, if you're just checking out what GoHilo is as a platform or SaaS, software as a service, as a business model, I want to invite you to visit our absolutely free course on how to set up everything from scratch in a matter of hours and get your first 10 clients in a matter of 30 days. And because we are an official partner with GoHilo, if you use our referral link, you get an extended 30 day trial instead of a 14 day trial and on top of that you will get access to our premium snapshot and it is a template that you can just install straight to your account with a matter of just one click and obviously that all come free include with our bonus such as private facebook group weekly call and hands-on support and if you already an existing go Hilo user make sure you also check out the link below to upgrade to the 497 plan with our existing customer link and to get access to our bonuses and our premium snapshot as well so let's get back to the video so just to conclude guy the automation is cool and stuff but when it comes to the value of the snapshot it have to be the copywriting inside the email when it comes to the workflow or the headline or the copy when it comes to the funnel this is what really get your client the best roi when buying your snapshot so if you really care about your client success which you should be you should be really spend time um building and optimizing your headline and your email sequence when it comes to your snapshot. So let's pretend that we finished building our snapshot. The next step is to create a snapshot link so you can send it to your client after purchasing your snapshot. So you want to come to this agency view, okay? And you want to go to setting and you want to go to snapshot and you want to click create a new snapshot. And you want to select the account that you work on. In this case, we only have one account and you want to actually name that snapshot. We're going to name it Vicalize test okay and go ahead and click save and that is it the entire process is super easy and simple so after the snapshot is being created you can see here there's a few button um the pencil here if you want to edit the name because this is the link that you're going to be giving it to your customer and this is a one-time link again if you click on the share button you can pick different type of link you can put a permanent link if it is a free snapshot and you just want to automate the entire process but again what we do with our process is that we get a virtual assistant out there and just generate one snapshot link at a time all right and if you really want to restrict an agency access Hilo have its new feature such as the agency restricted link and sub account restricted link and this article which i'm going to be leaving in the link in the description is going to outline what those means so basically an agency restricted link mean that you can confidently secure and share a snapshot with your chosen trust agency simply as the other agency provide their unique relationship link and a secure link will be generated for their exclusive use so this is really good because it prevent other agency owner to make a snapshot from your snapshot and resell it a sub account restricted share link let you share snapshot for specific sub account only making your data sharing more personalized and only to those sub account that can be used with that snapshot okay so just a quick disclaimer here this two option only available at the 497 plan so make sure that you upgrade to SaaS link in the description to actually be able to use this feature this is a massive new feature that high level prevent anyone that making a snapshot out of your snapshot and then try to resell it and all that stuff so the next icon i want to share with you guys is this half circle icon if you hover your mouse around it it's called refresh icon so what that means is that if you want to optimize or work on your snapshot you just go into the sub account and work on the copywriting change the funnel change the color and all that stuff and come back here and click refresh right and just click ok so what that means is that the snapshot will go back to that account and extract the latest update from that account and making the snapshot the latest version of itself the next icon i want to show you guys is this arrow upward button if you hover your mouse around it it's called push update to link account so if you have 
load this snapshot into your other sub account within this go high level account what that means is that it's going to push all of the new update that you just refreshed to all of the sub account that link to the snapshot so that's it guys it's Vico Kang here your very own go high level ninja hopefully you get value from this video and comment below which topic you want to see next when it comes to making video like this we always want to make video cater to your request so make sure that you comment what topic you want me to make a video about and see you on the next one hey guys if you enjoy watching the video make sure that you're also checking out this content right there